so nervous. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not at all. This is not off to a good start. 90 minutes is not a lot of time. I messed up the first stencil, so now I have to take another 10 minutes and put the stencil on. I gotta let it dry still. It's not a comfortable feeling. Hey, bone face, wait for me. Gotta go, man. Hey, wait. We are giving you the opportunity to settle all of this. We're gonna throw at you a 90-minute face-off tattoo, head-to-head, -head, just you ladies, where we get to pick what your girls will be tattooing today. Total level playing field, no bullshit. Oh, damn. 90 minutes, that's not enough time to do anything. That's not even enough time for me to put my hair in. I mean, what do you think we should give them? I feel like it's a cat fight, and we should do some cats. 90 okay. minute cat tats. 90 minute cat tats. <laughs> All right, go get them. Come on, why aren't yeah, you guys drawing yet? I'll tell you right now, this is gonna be insane. I think they're gonna throw down. You think? Let's see how you do without your precious team. I just don't understand why you're talking to me. You ready? Ready. I'm doing a black and gray realistic cat portrait. I'm gonna do it nice and small, but still make sure that I focus on the details. The fact that I get to do what I wanna do, I feel confident. In case you didn't know, that's what a real tattoo machine sounds like. Sorry, I can't hear you. This is what I do every day. This is what I'm good at. Alexis is gonna learn today. Color. Already? Tell me about 90 minutes. A 90 minute tattoo can throw you off way more than you realize because you could do a design and it looks like it's small, but if it has a lot of detail in it, that's where you have to realize as an artist what are the most important things that need to be in this tattoo. My biggest concern is just making sure that it's technically solid as hell. Fastest tattoo I've ever done in my life. <laughs> All right, we are already down to one hour. Only 60 minutes left, ladies. Hi. How's it going? Cat tax. 56 minutes, huh? Yeah. Ash is doing a portrait. A portrait in 90 minutes. Doing a cat portrait in general is tough because all of the fur and texture, but in 90 minutes, I mean, that's insane. It looked like small and easy to do. You have got to get a move on, baby. I know. 90 minutes just goes so fast. You gonna finish, Ash? Stop talking to me, yeah. We'll see, girl. I would never like to say that to her. I wouldn't be like a bitch like that. If this was a morals competition, I would win. Period. I can't lose this. I have a chance to put this little girl in her place. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, ladies. Machines down. Sweet. Oh, I love it. It's pretty it's darn so cute. cute, if I do say so myself. Looks awesome. So cute. Oh, I love him. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for letting me do a cat tat. Absolutely. How do you think you did, dude? Can't really go wrong with cat tats, so. She should have done a scaredy cat, because you seem pretty scared right now. I'm not scared in the slightest bit, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just, you know, reading the room. What's up? How was the cat fight? It's good. 90 Super minutes. Super fast. No yeah. joke. Honestly, I think the biggest surprise of the day was your tattoo, Ash. There was a lot of moments in this tattoo that I think are really, really pretty. You have the dark black fur with the medium fur, really nice flowing crisscrossing with each other. But you can definitely see that you started at the bottom and it's real detailed. And then once you kind of get to the top and that one ear, it's like Motown. The right ear kind of goes flat. The 90 minutes got me a little, I gotta be honest. What you pulled off in 90 minutes was actually really impressive. Thank you. Alexis, your tattoo was definitely sharp. Thanks. I love that little drawing, man. I like how you built up all your shapes and everything with just color. The one thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the star necklace. You really have to look for it because it's the same color as the body. The two tattoos that you ladies did today, they couldn't be any more different. We gotta figure this out. I know, uh, this is a tough one. I think Ash did an awesome tattoo and the shading is really nice, but I'm gonna vote for Alexis. The overall saturation, it's super solid. That's the only thing that I'm going off of. I know how hard black and gray realism is. For 90 minutes, it was really, really awesome. But I can't argue with how bulletproof your tattoo was, Alexis. I'm gonna have to go with Alexis.
Ah, Congratulations, yeah. Alexis, Thank you, you won. <laughs> That's awesome. I think Alexis has got a little more creative. But Ash, I want to say you did an awesome tattoo. Thank you. I mean, very impressed. To hear you guys say that my tattoo was good, I mean, I'm good, I'm happy. So, this is what you guys are going to have to do. We really want a level playing field. We're going to give you guys a 90 minute face off tattoo where we decide what you're tattooing. Lovely. There's not a lot of stuff I could do my style in 90 minutes. I like a lot of texture, and I like anything dead and creepy. What are we going to uh, have them do? Something worthy of this beef. Jeremy said like four times that he threw him under the bus. How about a little bus? A 90 minute bus? <laughs> Best bus wins. Bus it, it out. All right, you All right. guys do not have a lot of time. Yeah, get busy. All right, 90 Good minutes. Good luck, honestly. You're going to need it. Bus? Hey, a bus. That's a hard challenge for 90 minutes. I'm actually excited about this one. Show me what being a coach is all about, man. Do a better tattoo than me, if you can. Here's my coaching. Do a Jeremy tattoo for once. About to. You ain't gonna win. How is Steve gonna turn a bus into a skull? That's what I'm wondering. I'm gonna do a custom bus. There's a lot of parallel straight lines, circles, body lines, and smoothness everywhere. So if you pull this off, you can blow some minds. My bus is gonna be a Steve Keff bus, and looks like, you know, it's taking you to hell. It's gonna be dope. Stand right up for me. Thinking, yeah, about right there. That Perfect, cool? yeah. Oh shit, I need paper towels. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Watch your head and have a little seat. All right, I need one more thing and then we're good to go. All right. Jeremy hasn't even started. It's a beautiful needle right there. Watching Jeremy lollygag around, it just gave me flashbacks of being his coach. We'll lower it just a hair. Jeremy, how you doing over there, buddy? Haven't even started yet, bro. I, I know. What is this guy doing? I have a plan on this. Hour and a half, get the line work perfect. An hour, put some nice soft shading and 30 minutes to button things up and I'm good to go. Three hours is plenty of time to show this guy what's up. All right, girl, you ready? Absolutely. Been ready, huh? Are you enjoying your bus? Yes. I'm actually really liking it. The tricks I'm going to show off in mine is, you know, shading everywhere, light sources, texture. Time is going to be of the essence. This is going to be pretty tricky. All right, guys. You only have one hour remaining on these bus tattoos. Really? Are you kidding me? An hour left? I'm not even done with the line work. Where did the time go? How's it going over here? You know you have like an hour left, right? Yeah, I'm fully aware. <laughs> yeah, that 90 minutes is no joke. It really is. It's no joke at all. How's it going over here? I'm doing a sweet outline today. Super sweet with some black. <laughs> you guys. I lost about 45 minutes. Keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, no, go, go, no stop go, go, and go, listen go. to her. It's taking me a lot longer to get this line work dialed in because the nerves are getting to me. I gotta get these lines perfect. What the hell did I do? Where did the time go? What the hell were these guys thinking? The way that these guys are playing is it's gonna be like a dick measurement contest. It's gonna be like, you can make the bigger bus in 90 minutes. I will be shocked if either of them finish this tattoo. I will be shocked if he finishes his outline. We're getting down to it, guys. You only have 30 minutes remaining. Holy shit, time flies. <laughs> Because I spent so much time on the line work, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to the coloring. All I could do now is make sure this line work is perfect and hopefully an unfinished tattoo with clean line work could take out whatever Steve does. It's not huge, but it's not little. I got my balls against the wall, so now I'm pulling off every trick that I know to try to finish this thing. I really wish I had someone dead hanging out of it. That would have been cool. That would have been the piece de resistance. Went by quick. Oh, holy shit. Was that really three hours? 90 minutes is not three hours. Like, what are you thinking? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. This is it. 90 minute buses. That was quite the challenge, huh? See, I, I looked at that in, in increments of three, and um, in my head, I thought three hours. I don't know why. Wait a minute. He thought he had three hours. I broke it down into like three increments in my head, like for some reason. Well, nobody said you had to be a smart guy <laughs> yeah, to do tattoos. I mean, now you understand my pain. 
you tattooed so fast that you literally burnt all of the rubber off those tires. In my head, if it was an hour and a half, I would have done something completely different. I'm actually really bummed that this tattoo is so unfinished because the line work is really nice. It is Thank you. solid, tons of single pass lines. Was this bus gonna be color or is black color. and gray? Color. <laughs> ambitious. No, because I'm ambitious. actually faster at color than I am at black and gray. I do a lot of vehicles and they're time consuming. I mean, there's so many lines and bevels and shapes. When I thought to myself, what would I kind of do in a 90 minute situation like that? I even thought, I would probably do it all beat up and smashed up because then you have room for air. That's a really good play on your end. It did look a little master blaster, just getting it done, and I feel you. With the bus being all distressed and old and cool, I like the scratchy look. You got some depth in there. You show a lot of details and Steve tricks. I think you had some really good stuff in there. Thank you. Steve did turn in a finished tattoo. Best tattoo wins. My vote's for Steve. I think if Jeremy would have kept going, you would have had him, man. But the time got you, dude. My vote's for Steve. Thank you. Good job. Listen, that's the most stress I've been under in a very long time, man. We're going to give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo to level the playing field. And we're going to pick what you guys are going to tattoo. 90 minutes doesn't scare me. Clearly, they can't agree on anything. Nothing. And it seems to me like there's a bunch of knives getting thrown in each other's backs. How's about a dagger? Ooh, appropriate. Take it. So we're going to do daggers, any style. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I'm down with that. Seems fair. You guys got no time to waste. Get the design in. Let's get the tattooing. Got this. All, All right. right. Good luck, guys. This is going to be good. What are you going to throw, Matt? The same traditional shit? I'm sticking with what I got. You know, what are you going to do? A black and gray tattoo with a female face in it? If I could get that done in 90 minutes, you're goddamn right I would. Guys, play to our strengths. Mine happens to be good tattoos, and you know, yours is tattoos. I already know that my design is gonna blow ponds out of the water. My tattoo is a very thin, elegant dagger with a bee on the hilt. I wanna include all that soft shading that I'm known for, the very textured stippling. It's gonna be a hell of a lot more impressive to be pulling those long, thin lines than just like a regular fat one. This is my chance to shine, really show what I could do. Half an hour down, guys. You've got one hour left. An hour left, I'm gonna do another tattoo. Don't do that to him. He doesn't need two shitty tattoos. Just stick with the one. I hate grudges. I don't like when people don't like me. Cam likes to keep reminding me that I did traditionals all throughout our competition, so I'm picking a traditional style so I can whip his ass with it. Look at that. It's a little homage to what brought us here. So it's going to be a golden skull with a dagger going through it, because he says I, I stabbed him in the back. I just wanted to make sure like he remembered what beat him, you know? I'm picking a traditional tattoo because I'm playing it smart. Cam's ego gets in his way all the time, and if Cam's history proves itself again, he's gonna shoot himself in the foot. Sorry. I have so many of these long, thin lines within this tattoo. If this canvas doesn't stop moving, these lines are All right, boys, you better sharpen up those daggers. You have 30 minutes left. That is it. My canvas's leg will not stop twitching. This dude is kicking up into the needle, and it's making it go a little deeper than it should at times, and it's fuzzying up some of these lines. Time flies. You have no idea. The only thing I can do is finish this tattoo to the best of my abilities. I'm just happy that my design really is that much better than Pond's. You know, the whole time I was drawing this, I was like a little nervous about the size. Now I'm thinking to myself, I probably could have went a little bit bigger. All right, this is it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. This face-off is over. A little bit of them shaky legs ain't going to stop me. <laughs> very, very good. Pretty good? good? Thank you. <laughs> we think we got a winner? That is cool. I think I won today. Why's that? Just because I think my tattoo is a lot cleaner. The thing is, I actually tried to like show off the fact that I can do something a little more than the absolute bare bones necessity of a tattoo. The only reason I went with traditional today was because you're like, oh, one trick pawn. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to beat you with the one trick that I got then. So you, you, you proved me right by proving me right. Absolutely. Congrats. What's up, what's up fellas? Guys? What's up? What's up? Ready to dig into these. When I heard 90 minute tattoo, I was like, you know what? I'm doing a tattoo that I would do in my shop. His tattoo was really nice, but like I tried to play smarter. I was into it. It looks super punched in. I like the design. I like the three drips that are just stagnant and stuck there stiff, because I like that type of stuff. The only thing that really 
kicks me in the ass, the golden skull. It comes off more as an orange skull. It wasn't a traditional color to do a skull in. Like, yeah. I took a risk with it. But your hilt design in itself was just off. Like, I understand the style of traditional, and you can kind of get away with being a little wacky, whatever, but the tattooing has to be clean, and it, it wasn't. You don't even know the flaws in your own tattoo. Well, that's why I'm glad you're here to show me, because, like, you obviously didn't see the flaws in your tattoo. That thing has more haze than a L.A. morning. That shit was gray as L.A. is pretty hazy. <laughs> I wasn't obviously happy. There were some, like, line work discrepancies. The canvas, it's almost like he had some, like, restless leg syndrome or something like that, because I'd be in the middle of a line, and he would just all of a sudden decide to kick up against the needle. I'll own up to that, but, you know, it doesn't suck any less that it happened, especially here. Aside from blowouts that you had, I thought it was rad. I would love to rock that thing, honestly. It was delicate. I love the texture that you put in to add a little contrast between the left and the right-hand side of the dagger. I love the B you put in. It's unexpected. I love how soft it is compared to the texture of the dagger. Overall, compositionally and design, the take that you brought to us is really fresh and cool, and I loved it. Thank you. This is a tough one, man. I don't think Cam's mistakes are as noticeable as the wonky hilt on Pons. It's not aesthetically pleasing when a curve kind of gets weird on one side. I'm going with Cam. Everything about it, I thought, was really, really refreshing. Thank you. And I like that big, wonky, solid tattoo. I'm going to go with Pond. Thank you, buddy. One vote for I, each, I clean. I should have won first. You're the deciding factor, bud. They're both good. They're both good. But in my eyes, if you are an artist that uses these thin lines, you shouldn't have a blowout. Don't let him peer pressure well, you. No, we're supposed to convince each other. Oh, well, don't let I'm DJ pretty peer pressure you. Don't let her, don't let, her, don't let the freaking, don't I'm let try, that fool I'm you. I'm trying, yeah. don't, okay. be, don't fall victim to that. Okay. Dude. It's for Pond. Thank you. I always come down to application. This whole thing started over tattoos. Let's end it with some tattoos. Bring it on. We're going to make the playing field completely even today. We're going to throw at you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo where we get to decide what you'll be tattooing today. Whatever you got, throw me out with it, baby. To be honest with you, this entire grudge started over these watercolor tattoos. Oh, that both my of God. These guys I remember the watercolor tattoos. I do not tattoos. want to see any watercolor tattoos. This is an opportunity for them to redeem themselves. In 90 minutes? Those, those watercolor tattoos Well, we don't have bad. to pick the subject. We can just let them be creative. So like a watercolor anything? Yeah. You guys have a second chance. If you want to rewrite the story, now's the time. Who's going to edge out and get the advantage? 90 minute watercolor tattoo, any subject. Quit this bickering and do some good ass tattoos. So do it. get to work. Let's yeah. do this. Good luck. Man. Oh, I was going to have to break up two dogs. I was not fighting. expecting that. Are you kidding me? Watercolor is super tough to make look cool, man. It is. It's hard. Come over here, bro. This is the winner side. You got to sit back over there, baby. Here's something. Get on the loser side, bro. Baby, you're a bitch. Get your ass over there, baby. I specialize in Japanese style, so I've decided to do branches with cherry blossom. I tattooed for 24 years. If you want to challenge me, bring it. I thought you were going to beat Savannah up today. Stupid. Don't come here. Just do tattoos. Just stop me talking shit. Keep it on the skin, Tito. When nobody believes on Servant, my shop opened his door. And the only thing he paid me is with disrespect and ungrateful. Do you like your job? I like the people I work with. That's important too, man. Like people you work with can change your whole experience at a place. Tito cocky and arrogant, and it made it really hard to work with him. Some people hate that other people are trying to help them too, but you can't help anyone unless they're trying to help themselves. Tito's like a schoolyard bully, man, and I came here ready to fight. Thirty minutes left, guys. Clock is running out. We're doing a rose and leaves that bleeds itself out into this watercolor design. Since my time here, I practice. I'm gonna take on a W. I'm pretty sure you got every color uh, they make out there. Yeah, I That's... know, man. I'm trying... Whoa! Uh, rock. I know, Jeez. Ryan. Miss Black and Ninety minutes, baby. <laughs> Ninety minutes. Servan has definitely done his research. He's using dark tones, not just washy, transparent tones, but it is big. If he can get this thing done in 90 minutes, I'll be shocked. Just gonna basically be doing these little tricks to the end of sharpening it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Ooh, right. I like it. Hell yeah. 
Wow. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sitting good. good yeah. Yes. Thanks. Yes. You lucky we only had 90 minutes. Gave me two hours, I would have finessed that shit. You still would have been over there filling in some branches. Shut up. I don't need to prove nothing to nobody. You don't sound too confident over there, brother. You feel like you need to prove it to me. I don't know why. You're like everybody else. They want something from Tough Tito. Don't nobody want shit from Tito. Can I be a kid in New Jersey? You got to act like one first. Grow some balls. All right. Everybody's calm Come now. down. You just got to flow like water, guys. Everybody's calm down? Yeah. Servan, I mean, all I have to say is that you have totally redeemed yourself in the watercolor category. You swung for the fences, man. When you look at this tattoo, it looks like a painting. Watercolor is really loose and it has a lot of flow, you know? You can almost close your eyes and create shapes. And I think you played well with that. Your color play is pretty nice. You have your darks that fade into your lights. It doesn't have a whole lot of black in it, which I feel probably would have benefited just for some separation. His tattoo, I would spend like four hours on this tattoo to put this color saturated or whatever, because from close, it doesn't look saturated. And from far away, it look like Toilet paper color, I don't know. I didn't want to shoot for that. I want to get something simple. Going for a recognizable silhouette is a smart move to do. I love the way the branches get like thick and thin and bumpy and all weird. Sort of an old piece of Japanese art in watercolor, which is cool. You did use some black. We tried to put some black splatter in and give that tattoo some darkness in it because the rest of it was so light. Tito, I'm going to be honest. I hate this thing, man. There's a lot of light colors in this thing. The pinks and tangerine that you used in this, it's gonna fade. And she's gonna be left with three big purple veins up her leg. Yes, Tito had some black in his, but I think Servant had deep, rich colors enough to where he didn't need it. My vote is for Servant. You both attempted watercolor, two very different takes. I appreciate both takes, but I can't stress enough, Servant, how blown away I am by how much you've changed technically from your last watercolor to this one. My vote is for Servant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tito, you swung for the fences on this one, but I feel like you just came a little bit short. Congratulations, Servan. You won this Space Off Challenge. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys an even playing field with a 90-minute face-off tattoo. We get to choose what you guys are going to do. Tight. This dude does big shit all day. I know he's nervous. I'm ready to do any tattoo. I just, I just want to see this guy do a good tattoo. Just one. This all started over, you know, mental warfare. It's your little brains. So, so 90 minute brain tattoos. 90 minute brain tattoos. I'm into that. Any style you want. You got it. Use them brains. <laughs> yeah, use Don't come brains. with half one today. Oh, man. You hear that, man? They want you to do a clean, good tattoo. How are you feeling about that? Small. Are you going to be able to do something small? I think maybe you should just do a brain and a question mark, because you're probably clueless. What? I don't know what Sparks is thinking. Calling me out. I almost made it to the finale. He didn't even get a participation award. Make sure it's your best tattoo ever. Always got to make sure it's your best tattoo. So I got a lot of elements in this tattoo. I've got the light bulb, got the face, I got the brain, and I've got a little activity outside the brain. I just want to get in there and do like really the subtle grays where the brain is actually behind in the bulb. Maybe I'm pushing the limits a little bit for 90 minutes, but no matter what, I'm going to whoop Sparks' ass. Just keep it simple and legible. You only got 60 minutes left on your face-off tattoos. My design is basically a brain in the shape of a heart, I think with my heart. It also has an all-seeing eye in the center because I see through this mental warfare bullshit that Jason's just tossing around. So what made you come back? I just didn't get to prove what I wanted to last time. I let my emotion get in control instead of just kicking back and doing fun tattoos. This guy has no idea what's coming for him. I have a clear head, so I'm coming full force this time. Somebody's gonna put Jason in his place. 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes to tighten these brains up. We're almost done. It is much harder to do an hour and a half tattoo than a six hour tattoo. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop tattooing. Thoughts? It's sick. You sat like a champ. I'm really, really stoked on it. It looks like gum. It's not supposed but, hey, to just say you know, brain. You know what? It's a cool piece of gum. Thanks, Tater Tot. Is that like sugar-free gum? Oh, Jesus. Who chewed it, though? All right, let's do this. Come on down. How are we feeling? 90 minutes goes real quick. Mind over matter, though, huh? For a piece of chewing gum, I thought it looked, uh, I thought it looked great. I mean, you know, I didn't see a brain. 
Sparks. I enjoy the creativity right out the gate. I mean, honestly, for me, with the exact texture and everything that you use, it looks like the small and large intestine just hanging there like a sack. I was kind of worried about that. Yeah, I do love that you use this really rich purple to give this undertone to the pink brain. In terms of color theory, that was really cool because it looks really nice with all of the cool tones that you use. The overall, it's a fun tattoo. Thank you, that's high praise, thank you. You know, Jason, the tattoo that you presented was polar opposite of Sparks. A really interesting concept and design. I think the time just got to you on yes. The way you whipped in the face, you know, I can really see your whips changing directions a lot. But you do have some real nice techniques down at the bottom. The screw-in part of the bulb that's shaded, you know, it gives it a nice metal effect. I really like the artistry that you put into this. Thanks. Thanks. I don't think either of these guys made it easy for us to uh, decide no this. One's color, one's not. One looks like a brain heart, the other one looks like a brain face. Jason had a lot of great things happening, but had this mag mark straight horizontal yeah. across the upper lip yeah. that looked like a mustache. I think Sparks has a little more punch. Sparks, is it really a brain or was it not? It was a lot of questions for me. My vote's for Jason. Jason, I love the direction you went with this. Sparks, your tattoo is wild and crazy. Honestly, I think one edged out just a little bit more than the other for me. And that one is Sparks. My vote is for Sparks. I was kind of on the fence, and now I'm really on the fence. Artistically, I love the fact that you guys both took jabs at each other with these designs. My vote's for Sparks. Holy shit. Whoa! Honestly, that just threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Hey Here we go. This is going to be good. I'm ready to just kick some ass. See, that's the Austin I know. I'm here to win, man. Today, we're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo, where we yes. determine what both of you guys are gonna be tattooing. I think we should really test the line work on these guys. That's fundamentals right there in its finest. Let's do geometric. Why don't we do geometric animals? Yeah, like a little geometric animal head. Liners only. Liners only. No curved lines. So you guys have to do 90-minute geometric animal head tattoos using just a liner. Surprise us. Sounds like a little piece of heaven. All right, we'll get to work. Let's go. Man, oof. Just lines. It's gonna be a tough one. 90 minutes is what I did, Gonzo. I hope you got this, man. I know you do pretty long tattoos. It should be easy for you to draw an animal head. You guys do a self-portrait. Even with stuff like this, like I'm still gonna give it my absolute best, even if it's not something I do every day. The line work. Yeah, I don't do much line work. I usually use my liners as shaders. Mm. Dropping lines all day. Gonzo can't pull any straight lines. I pull straight lines all day. Get everything in there, make sure all the lines are consistent. Every single line I pull right now has to be crisp, clean, and perfect. I'm gonna whip that ass like it owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you come up with? A little deer. We're liners only. That doesn't mean that you can't add shading. You can saturate. You can do solid black with liners, but they're very intrusive needles. I have to be very, very careful so I don't mess this person's skin up. What I'm trying to do is black areas so I can give you a little bit of each fundamental in here. A liner is so precise that if you go over the same area too many times, it causes a blowout. The only thing I can imagine is that Gonzo messed up a bunch of lines and he's trying to save his ass right now. I'm using a fractal mathematic equation to make this S-shaped curved crane head, making short straight lines in order to make the illusion of a curve. Austin, are you going to leave it completely line work? Yes. You're not going to go in and do anything? I want to black and gray with no questions, man. I learned that shit the hard way. I'm going simple. This can go either way. Going simple could hurt me or it could help me. 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. These lines better be straight as an arrow. Getting up on those antlers on that really thin skin, and I'm noticing some of my lines are starting to blow out, which is bad. My only hope at this point is putting black in those areas to hide where the spread is, and hope they're like, good deer, bro. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, put them down. We are done. It's a little baby deer. I like it. What do you I think? think it looks great. Do you want to keep it? I guess I got so. a belt sander in the back <laughs> if you don't. Thank you so all much. Right, thanks, Gonzo. Have a good one. So you think hiding all that shit with those dots is going to help you out? 
I definitely think I edged you out a little bit on that one. I mean, it adds a little dimension, hides some of the, you know, the poor line work, but. You showed clean line work, but all you gotta ask yourself is if that's enough. I feel like it could be enough. It was pretty solid clean line work. Hey guys. Let's get into this. All right. Today we gave you guys a pretty difficult task. Trying to go minimalist like that definitely is more of a challenge than I thought it was gonna be. I went a little bit above and beyond of making it more of a finished tattoo than just an outline that looks like it hasn't been finished. Honestly, I was trying to show what they asked for. They asked for liners. I didn't want to hide anything. Austin, I think you did a great job. It's hard to break down a realistic image into these shapes. You know, you figured all that out throughout your piece and it really works. I love all of the wispy feathers you put on the back of the head and neck of this bird. The different shapes that you used really make this image take form with just using lines. Not every single line was completely perfect, but you didn't freak out and try to hide all of your mistakes. And for the most part, it's a really clean, very cool tattoo. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, Gonzo, you're up. The overall first glance at this tattoo, you could tell that it's a deer. Once you start dissecting it as far as technical, it was hard to find a section that wasn't blown out. Now, I know where there was some trauma, especially when I was trying to go back in and saturate with a liner. That was a, that was a huge mistake, especially on an area like the calf where it's so tight already to begin with. The design got away from you. It's got these repetitious triangles that's like these alien eyes, but there's two of them next to each other that are also the ears, so that's a little confusing. I won awards everywhere for portraiture and realism and this, that, and the other, but then coming in like a line is what f***s you up. You know, it's humbling. For me, it's pretty clear. My vote's for Austin. My vote's for Austin. You go, man. You blew my mind today, man. My vote is for you. He's gonna start crying. Look at I, I almost did. You did a more like intricate design than I did, and you pulled it off better. Like I appreciate you saying that. that. I did not expect this. Honestly, this is not how I expect to see this Here going. We go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey guys. Guys. man. Look who it is. This is gonna be a fight today. Calling out an ink master. Who else am I supposed to call out? I, I hear you. If I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna compete against somebody, I want it to be the best. How can I show that I can be Ink Master if I don't defeat an Ink Master? They made it to the finale, they won. He earned that. I'm here to challenge that. Today, we're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo where we determine what you're gonna be tattooing. Okay. Shit. Fired away. Not a lot of time. It is not. That is no time. What do we wanna give these guys? They're completely on their own today. There's no teams. Flying solo. Something that represents, yeah. Bald eagles, baby. Yeah. Oh. You guys are both flying solo, no help from nobody except yourselves. 90 minute bald eagles. It's gonna be fun. All right, guys, go hit the nest. Yeah, start get to, drawing. Get to work. I right. don't got much time. Woo. This That's gonna classic. Be a fun one? It's gonna be yeah. super classic. Give me a traditional eagle. I want to see what that line work hitting on. Are we telling each other what we're doing now? <laughs> I'm going to give this guy what he wants. If he wants to lose on a, me doing a traditional piece, that's fine. Feels good to be going against the Ink Master, Bubba. Now's your chance to prove that you should have been there. And I guess it's my chance to prove it too, dude. I catch so much shit for people saying that DJ carried the whole team, so I'm going to act like I never even won this competition right now, dude. You're the title of Ink Master right now, so I got to beat your ass. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not at all. This is not off to a good start. 90 minutes is not a lot of time. I messed up the first stencil, so now I have to take another 10 minutes and put the stencil on. I gotta let it dry still. It's not a comfortable feeling. Hey, Boneface, wait for me. Gotta go, man. Hey, wait. This is the opportunity I kinda like teleport to the top. I don't have to go through 16 other guys to get to the champion. You know, I go straight to the man and beat him and it makes me champion. So it's almost a cheat for me, but I'll take it. Hopefully I can skip the third time to charm and go with the second time. I was just giving you a head start, Boneface. I need it, man. You the champ. All this traditional shit's making me nervous. What are the rules about finishing? Just doing a little eagle, a little sky chicken. Boneface called me out and asked me to do traditional. I feel like I'm always challenging myself here, and this is no less. Don't breathe. Just kidding, you're good. I want to sweep this thing. I want to shut everybody up. All right, guys, these eagles better be soaring at 60 minutes left. Well, I'll be goddamn. All right, making some progress finally. I've learned in this competition, if you play it too safe, it's not dynamic enough. If you take too big of a risk, you land yourself in a shitty situation to where you're going home. So I have to balance the risk and I have to balance how far I go on this thing. 
Very interesting take. 90 minutes, you're gonna show us some uh, pretty straight lines there. Yeah. And a realism eagle. Gotta get a little bit of everything in there. A little bit of everything, but only 90 minutes. We'll get it done. Try to show off. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew, but at the same time, I need to do something that's competition worthy because there is an ink master on the other side of me. I like the red, that looks cool. Oh, we golden. Get it, golden? <laughs> I seriously can't remember the last time I did a tattoo this small. All right, guys, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. That was fast. Super fast. Hey, Boneface, how's it going over there, dude? Slow motion, man, slow motion. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Got it done. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, we did it. I love it. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks. You're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good little intro. You let me know you're on your shit, though. Plus, you called me out on traditional, so I figured I'd give you what you wanted. I didn't know what you were going to be able to do. I damn sure wanted to see. Think I could bring whatever, man. It's not going to be a landslide. It's going to be close. I promise you that. Better bring it, bro. Call me out. I'm coming for you, dude. I ain't going nowhere, bro. Good luck. Going to need it, brother. Yeah. I think DJ left the belt vacant, so. Yeah, we'll see, bro. That we'll made see. you the champ yep. by default. Hey, dude, champ nonetheless, though, right? Hey, with a vacant belt. Yep. You gotta fight for it now. Come get the bell, bro. Okay, champ. All right. All right, Hi, guys. guys. Fast 90 minutes, huh? Did not feel like 90 minutes. All right, let's get into this. Boneface, I think you did a really good job laying this out, creating that triangle for the border so it just doesn't fade off into nothing. But it would have been smarter to figure out a way to place this geometric shape maybe behind the white part of the eagle's head so that it would stand out from the skin a little bit more. If you're gonna put it in, put it where it would benefit you the most. Now that you say it, I do too. You could have definitely benefited from some more time, added some more texture just on the feathers, but I think overall the eye looks really nice, super detailed. The beak looks really nice and super detailed. You did a great tattoo. Thank you. I think I took a risk. Put a lot of elements in it. High risk, high reward. That's what you do every day, bro. You do that realism. That's, that's cool. why. That's why I did different shit. I took a risk. I don't think you took a risk. Bubba, the thing's super clean. The outline is really clean. I like this drawing. I think it's wonky in some good ways that I like and wonky in some bad ways. The overall shape just looks off. The one spot on the head that connects to the back, the head should be a little higher. It's just got a little kink to it that's awkward. But I love all of the tiny little areas of detail you put in and how balanced they are. Gives it a really cool, interesting look without having to go overboard or extreme. Both tattoos came out swinging and pushed their boundaries. You know, Boneface doing a bigger tattoo in that amount of time and Bubba doing a style that he's not so used to. I was actually surprised. I was joking with him, told him to go traditional. He went traditional, he called my bluff. So I know it's game on now. I really like your design, Boneface, but to me it just looks like you could have another couple hours on this thing. Mm -hmm. My vote's for Bubba. This is a tough one. Ah, damn. I'm gonna go with Boneface on this one. The details that he did put in are actually really nice. I really liked Bubba's tattoo, but I feel like it just had a few more flaws in it. The tiebreaker. I always love black and gray, but putting personal taste aside, Bubba, my vote is for you. Appreciate it, thanks guys. Your tattoo was too clean to debate. It's good to come back and come out swinging, you know? We're giving you guys a 90 minute face off tattoo and we picked the subject. I mean, Keith, clearly has an issue over this damn rose that he did on him. Yeah. So, do you want to do a rose? F it. Let's even it out. Okay, we got a rose. I'll fire machines up right now. What do you think style-wise? I just I just say Neo. That was the original challenge, I guess, that they, this beef started on, was a color Neo traditional rose. In an hour and a half. God damn. Let's settle the score right now. Let's go. Sure, let's do Good it. Luck, guys. All right, Good luck. thank you. I hope these guys are uh, bringing their A game. You like it right there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Doing a neo-traditional tattoo in 90 minutes, that's a huge undertaking because you still have to have traditional foundation of solid color and bold lines. Start with that, let's go. Now you gotta put a spin on it and make it artistically appealing. 90 minutes, that's a huge ask. We have a start of some reason. Good luck, how's it going over there, man? We rocking. I wanna see a tight rose. Listen, young man, don't worry about me. You got a pretty big feet over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm not a fast tattooer, so I'm going to play smart and make a clean, small tattoo. I'm going to make sure we do this shit real nice and clean. No craziness. 
Keith's the one with the big ass tattoo. Keith, you didn't learn a goddamn thing, man. You still making bad choices, player. Always would rather beat the clock than yeah. race to get done, so. You lost before, you're gonna lose again, so I'm gonna keep winning. Win, win, win. You like it so far? Yeah. So far, so good. Make those lines crisp. You have one hour left, just one hour. Yeah, the reason I'm back is because we wasn't able to finish our tattoos. So you know, I'm gonna complete a beautiful tattoo on you and then go from there. That's a big tattoo right there. Hey, man, I'm gonna make master dude. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right, you know what I mean? I feel confident about it, dude. I'm stoked to be able to do a neo-traditional rose. That's one of like, my bread and butter tattoos, so I'm gonna go all out. Artists, we are down to 30 minutes. 30 minutes left. All right. Hopefully one of you rose to the occasion. Keeps drawing dynamite. Yeah. King's is just so basic. I thought for sure King Rock was gonna snowball. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I was like, Keith doesn't have a chance, but I'll tell you right now, that dude's tattoos are doing the talking. Yeah, Rock, man, hope you ain't on that turtle speed, cause I'm like a cheetah, dude. I'm gonna pass you, goddamn 10 laps around you before you even get to the first lap. I'm gonna be on 10. Oh, yeah, I got time for a coffee break. Hey, Rock, you need a coffee break, bro? No, sir. Go, Keith, go. God damn it, since this is nail traditional, I'm trying to make sure I get all this shit in nice and smooth. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. This face-off is over. Done. I think I have smaller tattoos that took longer than this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I finished this for damn sure. Yeah. Nice, clean. Are you done over there, Rock? Nope. Shit, I'm not done. Huh? Is he serious? We'll play the game, we want them to feel. 90 minute neo-traditional color roses. As soon as you guys told me the 90 minutes, I was like, you know what? That 90 minutes comes I fast. Yeah, today. Yeah, I'm I not, mean, how about like, that? Tables turn real fast I'm, I'm, here. I'm gonna keep it all the way on it. I wanted to keep this tattoo obviously simple and small. I'm not trying to do something outrageous. What's really nice about this tattoo is that you obviously put this tattoo in really delicately and gently. You didn't overwork the skin. That being said, you were a little too light on the skin. There's just areas where the line could have been punched in there a little bit harder. I definitely think you could have punched up your colors too. You do have some saturation issues on the pink and on the red to saturate the shit out of it, you know what I mean? We're looking for just bold and solid. Overall, good job, though. Really? Yeah. I think it fits her up really well. I think it's cute. I mean, I decided to get a little bigger. I've worked a little faster. That is a big undertaking for 90 minutes. Yeah. Might as well make a bold move and do a bold rose. The design, the colors you used, the composition is rad. Thank you. The problems that you had were from biting off something too big. If you made it a little bit smaller, you wouldn't have had to go so fast, and you could have taken a few extra minutes to fix things like the blowout on the top leaf. That's an accident. Accidents happen. Tattoos, we all get them. Some of your black needs to get saturated a lot more. Some of your red's definitely not saturated. Whatever. I mean, not like whatever, but it's, it's not like the goddamn end of the world. And I feel like I brought 90 minutes of a bangerang. When it comes down to which tattoo I would be stoked and proud to rock, yours, Keith. Which Thank tattoo you. am I going to vote for the win today? Yours, King Rock. My least favorite thing that happened during this entire face-off is that ditch blowout. Definitely think both tattoos have equal amount of flaws, but overall drawing, I liked Keith's tattoo way more. I'm gonna go with Keith. Man. <sighs> Keith, that blowout got me, dude. I'm, I'm gonna have to vote for King Ruck. Congratulations, King Ruck. You won the face-off tattoo. We're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo uh -oh. where we choose what you guys get to do. 90 minutes. You kind of slow, man, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Shit. All right, guys, what should we give them to tattoo? He's calling him a snake, so, I mean, uh, some snakes. Let's or, do it. I mean, that's one of my favorite subject matters. I love it. All right, snake it is. All right, for this 90-minute face-off tattoo, we're giving you guys snakes, any style. Let's right. do it. You guys should be drawing right yeah. now, man. There's Why a lot still to a snake. Here? Get going. Man, I'm excited. Love. Me too. I love snakes. I think it fits perfect, the snake. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a little baby snake, like you. <laughs> Getting all personal. All, right, all sensitive. I'm gonna wait. Sensitive snakes? Whatever, dude. You being sensitive is not my problem. 
It's gonna be your problem when I beat you today. Uh, if you think so. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I'm doing the black and gray traditional cobra head because I'm coming for Tito's head. I want this tattoo to look mean, just mean, mean. I thought that would be really tiny for 90 minutes. This is pretty tiny, though. For you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I come from a street shop background. I do a lot of 90-minute tattoos. I do 30-minute tattoos. I'm fast. I'm easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> Tito's going to struggle with this because, A, he's slow. B, he's slow. C, very slow. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? Do I'm doing a full body snake with the head cut off. I hope when Big Jazz in my tattoo, he gets the message. How we looking? We looking good. Yeah, I'm planning on spending more time on the line work than actually the shading. The line work is the main thing to me. Cool. Making a snake with all the skills, that's gonna take a long time. So I'm doing spots on the snake to create the visual effect that does the skills. I got done with the head already, working on the body now. The technique that I use is something that I know that I can get it done. All right, guys, 60 minutes left to slither your way through this tattoo. Less than an hour. Big old traditional piece, huh? Cobra. Is this your go-to? Oh, yeah, of course. When in doubt, traditionally at all. Especially in 90 minutes, right? Exactly. Oh, so you went full body, huh? That's right. I'm going black and gray with this. Time-wise? How you think you're going to do? I got this. OK. Yeah, I got it. Tito's trying to do a full body snake with the head chopped off. In 90 minutes, that's insane. I think they like it. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to even have time to finish outlining this thing in 90 minutes. Hopefully, this full body snake doesn't come back to bite Tito in the ass. Every scale better be finished in this snake. You guys only got 15 minutes left. It's coming to life. I'm looking good, huh? How you feeling? You good? Yeah. Yeah, moving along. You are doing it. I hope so. All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them off. Oh, baby. It's beautiful. It's nice. It is. Not bad for an old guy. All right. We got it. Yeah. We're all done. That's awesome. How you feel about your tattoo, man? I'm like a million bucks. I think I got it, man. I came to take care of some business. Yeah, you know, I'm just not making my business to win this. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, you know? I'm looking for the same thing. That's what I came for, to win. Keep on looking. Shit, Tucker. All, All right. right, guys. That 90 minutes is no joke, huh? It was a little tough. It was, it was tight. Was there any, like, meaning behind that snake getting his head cut off? I totally went after him. Yeah? Cut the head Shit. of the snake off. Tito, I really liked your design. All of the textures on the light part of the face where you put in those gray wash circles that indicate that bumpy texture, that was really cool. And this tongue's a little weird hanging out the side of the mouth because you don't have all the details inside the mouth to really show that that tongue's coming out the side. It's almost like a black side of the mouth and then just tongue. But you got some clean lines in this thing and kept it pretty tight. The two of you were very realistic about getting a fully rendered snake done in 90 minutes. Big Jazz, what you did was you gave us just the head. Your snake head is a really powerful traditional tattoo. It's bold, it's strong. You have a nice bold outline, but you do have some outlines that don't meet up. There's black lines that are almost touching, so you've got a couple inconsistencies on that. But all in all, it's a great tattoo. You just need to button it up a little bit. I think that 90 minutes got you. Yeah. Well, definitely two very different takes on these tattoos Yeah, today. 100%. I mean, line work for line work, they both have some flaws. Yeah, but all of Tito's lines connect fully. I think I mean, Big Jazz's looks way tougher to me. Both of you guys were really creative with this challenge. Putting styles aside, when we get down to the fundamentals. Tito, my vote is for you. Thank you. My vote's for Tito. Thank y'all so much. Big Jazz, I love that design, dude. I would rather wear yours, but it came down to your lines meeting, so 
My vote's for Tito. <laughs> We're gonna assign you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo. And we pick the challenge. Yeah, bring it on. Play it on me. What are you guys thinking for this 90-minute challenge? I don't want to make it easy on them. We gotta do something geometric, something with oh, symmetry. Oh, mandalas. Mandalas. Mandalas is definitely a great head-to-head. -head. If you mess up one line, that throws your whole entire pattern oh, after that yeah. off. I agree. 90-minute yeah. mandalas. Yes. And Wanna rings. squash this? So yeah. yeah. Let's get to your shops and get these tattoos started. Showtime. We'll just let the tattoos speak for themselves. I'm excited, very much excited. And then maybe you don't have to speak so much. Ready? Yeah, okay. One line down. Yeah. Try and channel that uh, mandala energy in here. Mandalas are supposed to be a calming, meditative art, and this is not meditative at all. <laughs> I had the habit, the first time, of making all of my tattoos way too big. <sighs> and then I would get to that five hour mark and I'd be like, oh my God, I finished this in an hour. As long as my lines are straight and my dots are evenly distributed, I'll be fine. My clients be telling me I'm not heavy handed, but I use my whole damn body to hold them down. <laughs> Mandalas are a breeze. My biggest issue is figuring out how to make this a little more exciting. People have the tendency to judge me off of my character instead of my artwork. So this time, I'm gonna show my artwork creatively. He's trying to do something different, huh? Bro, I got him, man. I can't come back and do the same old shit. I'm doing a color blend. It's kind of risky, but I'm feeling very confident. What are your plans for this blue transition to red and then? And the red instead of black. It's not the place to play safe. I'm, I'm here to compete. Oh my God, he's doing colors? Psycho. minutes left. That is only one hour to finish these mandalas. 90 minutes isn't enough time to shade it in, so I'm just gonna do dot work. So many lines. I'm a human being, I'm not a machine, so doing perfectly straight line work is definitely a challenge. I'm freaking out! You've got 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. I'm feeling like I need to hurry the up. I've been so focused on doing these color blends and working on these lines that the time's almost done and I haven't even put the black in yet. I need to make sure that this does not bite me in my ass. I'm not trying to be antisocial. I need to finish this shit. Maidrich is being really quiet. I thought that he was gonna be yelling at me the whole time and he's just over there doing his tattoo. Makes me a little nervous. Five. Four, three, two, one. This face off is over. Oh. Yay! Breathe now. <laughs> Catch a breath for real. That was a really crazy 90 minutes. I'm proud. We did it. Yeah. Yay! All right, all right. Yeah. So, who's going to win this thing? I'm ready to check out some good tattoos. Rich is confident. I see it in him, yeah. always. Like a oh. damn statue. Oh, he said he's happy to be done. What? Hour and a half? Last time we did an hour and a half tattoo. <laughs> that Thanks. is a good question. Yeah. 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 That's a hard challenge. Shit. First off, I didn't want to do just a regular mandala. I'm not here to play it safe. So did you find her design boring? Yeah, it looked like every other mandala. I don't think it's boring. I think classic looking designs are timeless. I think April's tattoo, the overall appearance looks great. The overall line work, there's a few light lines here and there, but the biggest inconsistency would be the little fine dots throughout the whole tattoo. I mean, to do every dot like a computer is just mind blowing, you know? You'd have to spend more than an hour and a half on it. 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> one thing I wish that it had that it didn't have was solid black. Mm -hmm. For the time it took you to do that stippling, whip that solid black in. Yeah. Half the time, and it would put in that pop. Other than that, it's a really pretty tattoo. I mean, for an hour and a half, it's in there. All right, Made Rich, I like the overall design. Everything's really proportioned and tight. I'm not a huge fan of the outline and color, but you pulled it off. The black looks nice. I wish there was just more of it. The problem that I had with putting the color in was the inconsistencies where your colors connect because you stopped the line in the middle and you picked up with another color and some of them don't match up perfectly. And if you were to have run just a solid black line, you wouldn't have had those issues. I think my only mistake was doing too many tricks too soon. I mean, it's never a bad thing to try to push yourself, you know For what sure. I mean? For sure. We have to come up with a decision here. And it's a tough one, you know, because both of them have flaws. Mate, if, if you put those lines in black, you would have my vote all day, man. But my vote is for April. I also vote for April. 
The black lines that you had on yours were dead nuts. It was the colored ones that got you. My vote is for April. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give you a 90 minute face off tattoo where we decide what both of you are gonna be tattooing. I'm with that. All right, all right, let's go. I mean, these guys have been waiting forever to battle it out. How about some boxing gloves? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'm down with that. You guys want to fight? We'll start with the mitts first. Boxing gloves, any style. In 90 minutes. Keep your chin down. Yeah. Keep your hands up. Get to work, man. You only got 90 minutes. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. I think somebody might leave with a couple black eyes. I've designed a pair of boxing gloves that are hanging by a nail, and it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall color. I didn't even need to use a reference for this. I just want to bang out a simple, solid, bold tattoo. You're going for color, huh? Yes, ma'am. Very cool. Free hand in them, huh? Yes, sir. Look at you. I'm kind of well-versed with these things. Make sure everything's clean and perfect. We're looking at these things through a microscope, man. Yes, sir. I know the drill. Everybody do them boxing gloves hanging and all that bullshit. I prefer to do something a little different. I want to do some nice old gloves so I can show the wrinkles and cracks like they've been worn. Man, this is just detailing. Little tiny creases, you know. I'm going straight black and gray. I know Mark is going to do color. Color usually wins. It stands out. But I love black and gray, and I'm willing to put it up against color. It went a little bigger than it went doing a little Mark bit did. of work. You know, I'm trying to go ahead and crank it out. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. This face-off is over. All right, my friend. Friggin' amazing, man. Digging, huh? How you like it, my man? Some knockout tattoo right there. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, man. I had like triple the amount of black outline you did. It looked like you did a preschooler's tattoo. <laughs> For the chicken scratch you threw up, I don't know how you have room to talk. Chicken scratch. Hey, guys. What's going on? All right, let's do this. Step in the ring. What do we say? Put up your mitts? Is that what they say? Put up your gloves. Your Put dukes. up your gloves. Your dukes. All right. You guys ready to get into this? Yeah, let's get into it. Sebastian, you have a lot of really nice black and gray shading going on in here. A lot of those grays are really smooth, really nice. You got these cool white highlights that give everything dimension, but you don't really punch in what the shape of it is. Like on the top glove, that thumb wrinkle, you know, you focus on the wrinkles so much, but you didn't focus on the actual shape of what that thumb is. I wanted to do something a little more technical, a little more gritty and real. I picked somewhat of a simple approach, but I wanted it to be readable if you saw the tattoo across the room. The angle that you chose for these gloves was really, really smart because you immediately know what it's supposed to be. The one thing that is a bummer for me since I'm a color guy, your red just kind of falls flat. I feel like if you would have just done bright red, kind of whipped it in and left that almost skin tone, it probably would have saved you time and maybe gave you a more rounded glove. But overall, they're clean, they're readable. Thanks, man. Both of you guys did some great tattoos. Mark gave us a really readable tattoo that's super simple. Sebastian gave us a not so easy to read tattoo, but it's tattooed with a lot of nice tricks in it. I like a lot of your details and stuff, Sebastian. I like that you didn't go with just the normal boxing gloves, but I think that was a lot of tricks and stuff to try to pull out in 90 minutes. My vote's for Mark. Sebastian, I think your black and gray was really soft, smooth, nice but I have to know what I'm looking at. My vote is for Mark. Thank you. I'm gonna vote for Mark. I want him to win. That's the last time he's gonna. Oh, Ooh. that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear.